Will Peyton ever stop crying? And is the big love triangle, I mean rectangle, really over? I'm Matt Mitovich. We're on the set of One Tree Hill with Hillary Burden. Will Peyton please stop crying this season? Oh, man, it'd be awesome, right? Um, this, I don't... Person, this person is very upset that you are so upset. I tell you season. what, I don't even cry in real life anymore at all. I just get it all out of my system at work. In real life, I'm a very stoic, hard, frigid woman. Um, so I would love to stop crying at work so I can emote in my real life again. Now, what's your own trick for getting the waterworks going? Do you pull your eyelashes out? Or... No, um, I think about horrible things. Okay. <laughs> And you never run out of the supply. No, there's just so much horror. Um, yeah, no, I, uh, yeah, I just think about sadness. You know, it's a it's a really sad way to make a living. You guys just weeping constantly. Um, now, what are we doing this season? Are, are we flashing forward like 15 years and everyone's middle age? Yeah, actually, no. Can you see my? Dude, seriously, do you see the white hair? This is what this show has done to me. I've got all this white hair. Don't zoom in. It's embarrassing. Um, yeah, I... will uh, point that out. A casting director might be watching. I know. Hopefully I'll get, like, the real neat, like, crazy lady parts. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to grow my Bonnie Raitt stripe, you know? Just get that big white streak up front. So you read the season premiere script. Did you have any doubt who Lucas was going to call? Had you had it formed an idea in your own mind over who it was going to I'm not be? telling you anything. No, don't tell <laughs> me, but, you know. Um, I think that... What, what was hard for me is that we didn't know all summer, uh, while we had our hiatus, who he was going to pick. And realistically... He could have picked any one of us, you know, right. there was a good excuse to pick any one of us. And so I know all of us girls were asking each other, like, seriously, have you heard anything? Like, which one of us is going to be making out with Chad all year? Okay, you know, so we were all conferring notes, and we really didn't know until, like, the week right before we started shooting. So um, it was a surprise to us as well. But, yeah, no way. He could totally pick any of us, and it would have made sense. Now, Mark Schwann told me the other day that the triangle, rectangle, in fact, is over. <laughs> it's, what, is it a rectangle? It's, it's a like rectangle. a stop sign at this point, you, you guys. Put in there. You, got a, you have a Octagon. rectangle. Octagon. He says it's over after the season premiere. Is that kind of a relief to you in a way, or did you have fun playing the triangle, rectangle? Here's the deal. Mark says that, but I know come episode, like, Eight, he's going to get bored again, and he's going to do it all over again. Somebody's um, going to slip and sleep with yeah, somebody. Or... It happens. Yeah. Not in my world, but um, in Tree Hill all the time. Tell us about the character that John Doe from the group X is playing. Okay, John Doe is this music icon. You know, he's like huge part of the punk scene in L.A. You know, he like invented alt country with his band The Knitters. He's this great big music icon. And Mark Schwann tells me he's coming on to do some scenes with you. I'm like, okay, so I start studying this guy, and I just start geeking out, you know? Because you're and, a music geek to begin well, with. Well, yeah, and this is somebody who I wasn't totally familiar with, but then the more I studied him, I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe this is, like, John Doe, he's coming. It's going to be great. So he shows up, and he plays a character that used to run in the same circle as my birth mother. So he's telling me all these stories about her, oh. and... It's very, very cool. Someone um, who knew your birth. Mother. I know. So I'm getting to hear all these secrets about Ellie, you know, because mm -hmm. over the years, you know, Ellie, who started off as a very seedy character, became this great big part of my heart. And then, you know, when she passed away, it affected Peyton a great deal. And so to find out what she was like at Peyton's age is really interesting. And um, and yeah, it's cool to have him around. He's it's pretty cool, you guys. Speaking of people who are cool to have around, uh, would you like to see Jake resurface? Oh, man. Where played is by, Greenberg, by, Mr. by the Greenberg. way? God, that would throw a, a kink in the system, right? Yeah, and no. you get your stop sign. God, Greenberg, come back to me, you big lug. Uh, <laughs> he's going to love that. Greenberg and I have a lot of fun together. Yeah, the Pey Peyton Jake thing was never really resolved. No. So, I don't thing. know. We'll see. Right, I gotta be kissing somebody, you know? <laughs> I've been so bored. All right, we're gonna be doing some reader questions now. Uh oh. Molly would like to know is there any other character on the show you would like to play and why? Molly? Oh, Molly. You know I wanna play Dan real bad. Um, yeah. All right, so you can be on Death's Door stuff every other episode? Yeah, well, uh, at least he's not crying. Um, True. No, I, I think the Dan character is great, really great. And my favorite thing about villains. Because there are definitely the kids in the camp that, like, hate Peyton. They're like, oh, man, she just gets away with everything, and she's the worst, and she's a terrible friend. And 
And Peyton's pretty much a villain, but the great part about being the villain is that they don't think they're the villain. They think everything they're doing is justified and totally right. So I would love to be able to play the Dan part and uh, and apply that, that same mindset to it. Just like, well, of course I killed my brother. I mean, who wouldn't? Um, yeah. What song would you use to describe the Peyton Lucas romance? Um... <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really hard. Like, what soundtrack plays in my head every time I'm near Chad? Um, let's see, probably you 2 with or without you. God, right. that's a good one, right? Good call. Just slow dance to it, like this. There you go. This, no, this is nice. You're having fun with this. <laughs> it's great. I don't dance. He's got a wife. I barely dance in my life. Um. <laughs> okay. Penny wants to know if you ever get freaked out by the extreme One Tree Hill fans. Oh, uh, yeah, but I carry mace, so. <laughs> Amanda wants to know what the fa your favorite perk is of being on One Tree Hill. Uh, my favorite perk of favorite being on perk. One Tree Hill. Um, God, what is my favorite perk of being on One Tree Hill? I re shooting in Wilmington, you know? Wilmington's awesome, and we've gotten to kind of stay outside of the madness for six years now, and my whole family lives here, and so I get to be... Like normal when I'm not here acting like an idiot. Um, so w once you're no longer in Wilmington, whenever the, whenever it is that, that the will show never ends, happen. But theoretically, the show I'm going to be mayor someday. of this town. Okay, so you'll be mayor. Yeah, okay. duh. Rich wants to know if your house has been haunted lately. Oh yes. Okay, this is going to freak you guys out. Rich knows this stuff. No, Rich, seriously. Oh, this is going to freak you guys out. So, um, lately the ghost activity in my house was really kicked up, and. Uh, <laughs> I'm walking around downtown yesterday and this girl comes up to me and she's like, I have to tell you something, I don't want it to freak you out. And I think she's going to tell me, I know where you live. Because that freaks me out, you know? Um, I know where you live. Don't tell me that! Okay. So, this girl walks up, she's like, I have to tell you something. She said, I saw you get in your car the other day and I saw a flesh spirit in the passenger seat of your car. And I'm like, what? Uh-huh. She goes, and she goes on to describe this spirit sitting in my passenger seat and she describes verbatim the woman that haunts my house. I have pictures of this woman. She describes, I mean, to a T what this woman looks like. And I'm just looking at her like, uh-huh. Oh, huh, okay. She's like, did I freak you out? I'm like, no, what's a flesh spirit? Um, she's like, it's not a dark spirit or a light spirit, like a like a demon or an angel or anything. It's like um, it's like a person that was alive and she's looking out for you now. So not only is my house haunted, you guys, but my car is totally haunted. Uh, All that's left is like, what, your gym? Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, pretty neat. Last question. Susanna wants to know, and this is why I love fan questions, because I can ask this one. Oh, no. Who's the best kisser on the show? Um, probably Sophia. <laughs> that's all you get. 